Tell me about first dates. What are first dates like? Uh, job interviews. <laughs> If it's an online date, I feel like I become severely judgmental. When you have all this information and you're not emotionally attached, it's like grocery shopping, you know? But then it's sort of the opposite situation. If I meet someone in real life and I'm like, oh, I like you. Oh, you've killed someone. It's okay, we'll work with that. Like, you know, like it's like I'm emotionally attached. I'm all in, we're good to go. <laughs> My longest relationship was four and a half years. We went to high school together, but we didn't start dating until we were in college. I just think like having grown up in the same environment, like you're so compatible in that way. And so now that I like live on the other side of the country, I'm like, oh, well, I don't know, I'm doomed. <laughs> like, I need to meet someone from my neighborhood, um, but you know. So have you thought about the qualities you'd want in a guy? Yeah, wait. Yes. What if we made a list? Like a physical li list. <laughs> wow, what a beautiful gallery wall. <laughs> it's incredible. Um, that's my list. I get to write on that? How big is the pen? <laughs> I'm Megan, and I'm looking for my perfect match. What's his age range? I would say ideal age, 34. Age range, 27 to 39. What's his body type? Pretty much anything that's not like Jimmy, not Jim creepy. He is intelligent, savvy, forward moving, and loyal. Does he wear jewelry? No, he does not wear jewelry, ever. He wants kids, not an alcoholic. I drink socially, but not often. I like chivalry. I love it when a guy orders for me. He cooks all the time because I cook none of the time. But I will always do the dishes. <laughs> He's no shorter than 5'10". I'm um, 6 feet. I'm 5.3. His body hair situation is as much hair as humanly possible. So incredibly hairy. Seriously. <laughs> Liberal. He loves his job. He loves me a little more. I admire people who've had like huge career switch ups in their lives. Times per week. Are we talking about sex here? Let's say five ish. I don't want to date anyone who's like really into porn. Oh, bad. Okay. Mary before is okay. I don't want to be a fourth wife. That makes me feel like I'm a sister wife. So he believes in monogamy? Yes. Someone who feels like set free by being in a relationship versus imprisoned by my existence. <laughs> 100% plus two. I want my life to be like the movie The Notebook, basically. <laughs>
Where do you work? What do you do? I'm a lawyer. To be honest, I'm actually like actively like pursuing some other possibilities, but Such I can't. As? Well, that's you don't the have question. to talk about it. If yeah, you're ready. I'm like actively exploring <laughs> the possibility of there being possibilities. Okay. It was like really cool to talk about how like maybe in his life he wants to do like a total career change, which I had talked about earlier. That I think that's like the coolest thing when people are like, I'm gonna try something else. Let's solve this mystery. Okay. Why have we been matched? Are you a TV person? Love TV. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. I'm TV. like, no, I, I don't watch don't like, any TV. television. Okay. <laughs> what kind of comedy do you like? Most. Most. Most comedy. Do you but perform not... any comedy? Uh, I do like clowning stuff. Clowning stuff? No, I'm a clown. Like, comedy is kind of a part of my life. Is it a part of your life? I do up? like a little bit of improv. Improv? But, like, You're I'm an improv. Just... I like people with like dual lives, sort of, you know? So it's like he was a lawyer, but like he did improv. So that was like really pleasant. I came in here hoping more than anything they would have tuna tartare. I was gonna get that too. He was very chivalrous, very kind, lots of manners. Oh. Yeah, I think we're ready. Can we do, um, we're each gonna have a tuna tartare. We're also gonna split the piece. He took charge. I wasn't like, please. Let me make my own decisions <laughs> or anything, but he took charge, which is good. I don't cook at all. Do you? you cook? Don't, um, <laughs> I can cook in like a functional way. Um, okay, like to survive. Yeah, I'm pretty healthy. Like I do a lot of like physical activity and exercise and stuff. So I don't go to the gym. The date took a turn for the serious. Like it started off kind of like what, uh, and then we got into the real stuff for sure. <laughs> so are I mean, you in a relationship mode now? Uh, I mean, I would say that I'm certainly open to it, but I'm like not a Get big believer in like forever and ever pair bonded when I was relationship phase. I just think like each, I'm definitely in a phase where I'm open to relationship, relationship or relationship. Right. I don't know. I'm not, I don't, <laughs> Come over now, I'm like a believer. Like, no, this is an interesting question. So if I meet the right person and I want to like settle down, I'm open to that mm -hmm. idea. Like, I'm saying what I'm saying, knowing that, like, oh, Are you this a might... polygamist? I'm not a polygamist. <laughs> However, I think that, like, that lifestyle is, like, way healthier than, like, 80% of Americans who are married's lifestyle. I definitely who are, like, disagree with not that. Not being honest with each other. I feel very clear on monogamy, and he would, I would say, is, like, more flexible in that regard. And at one point, he said something about, like, maybe you're in a marriage, and I think, like, maybe it becomes an open marriage. And I was like, all right. Not so much. <laughs> um, I don't know how revealing or not revealing that was. Very revealing. Very revealing. I know it all now. You know it all. <laughs> <laughs>